Let's do it. Inhale. Exhale. Feel you actually pressing the alta and vena cava. Rest. Use your hand, cover your navel. And feel the warm of it. Feel the warm of it. Okay? Very important. Just now, the barrel breathing we call activate. Now you're aware of your navel. Feel warm and use your mind and use your eye to gather the energy. You can lightly contract your eye and feel you gather the energy together. And you exhale. Inhale. Smile. Use your mind and your eye gathering the energy. When you exhale, feel something going down to your navel. Exhale anything you don't like. Retain anything you like inside you. Inhale. Gathering more. Exhale, retain it inside your navel. Gradually, feel you forming a chi ball. Feel you gathering and forming a chi ball in your navel. Turn your mind and your eye down and gathering the chi ball inside you. And feel the chi ball getting more condensed and condensed and condensed. And find a dot. Find a dot. Look for one dot in the middle. Look for a dot in the middle. That dot of light is like a nucleus of the cells. Fix your mind in that dot. Feel the energy of gathering in that dot. In this process, we call store the energy. Store the energy. Always remember these three processes. Activate, gathering, store. When you store, you picture one dot and use the word chi. 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 Fix your mind in that dot. When you can fix your mind in that dot, and your mind can concentrate in the dot, the energy grow. The energy will grow. And that is the first part of warming the stove in the navel. Now, we're going to activate the door of life by exercise the kidney okay the kidney is the same shape of your ear okay we have left and right kidney the the right side a little bit lower the left side a little bit higher now if you put your hand on the ribcage and one hand on the navel and you make a line out a little bit and come up in this area so you put your hand right under the with the nipple coming down outside of the rib case and you put your hand like this so you put your hand like this on the side of the navel here the rib case right outside the rib case so you exhale now we're going to be reverse breathing the reverse breathing is when you exhale first fatten down your stomach and you inhale pull your stomach in okay when you pull the stomach in and away a little bit that you feel you're pressing about again your kidney. Very important. Feel you actually pull your stomach in. Exhale, inhale. Inhale, pull your stomach in. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Nine times, inhale. And exhale. Feel you press again your kidney. Very important. Feel you press again your kidney. Inhale. And exhale. That's why the emphasis of what you do is very important. 
emphasize what you do is very important. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Make your hand warm. Look at the kidney and smile to your kidney and put your right hand on the back and your left hand on the front and just feel you are smart you can smile to your kidney the Tao practice is you can eat, get in touch with your organ you feel you have a good relationship with your organs very very important okay very very important feel your kidney nice and warm smile to your kidney gather the energy in your kidney and store them into one dot inside your kidney one dot one dot inside your kidney lightly breathe into your kidney Now try to aware your right kidney. See how you feel about your right kidney and your left kidney. Can you see or feel something different on that? Now, shall we do the left kidney also? So, inhale. You flatten down the stomach first. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Left side. Inhale, pull your stomach in, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. At least nine times. At home, you have time to do 18 times, 36 times. It's very good. Rest, warm your hand. Cover your right hand on your left side and your left hand on the back. And feel it nice and warm. Nice and warm. Gather the energy you've been activated in the kidney and store them into one dot in the kidney. Store them into one dots in the kidney now gather the energy in the kidney in both kidney and move your right hand cover your navel and your left hand cover your door of life feel you gather the energy from the kidney down to the door of life condense the kidney energy into one dot in your door of life. The door of life opposite your navel between the lumbar two and lumbar three. So smile to your door of life. Feel you gather the energy in one dot. Feel you gather the energy in one dot. Quickly aware the energy in your navel and gather the energy in your navel for one dot also. So we're going to activate the sexual energy and change the sexual energy into chi. Okay. Um, the lady, we start with the, uh, the breast. The breast here. So for a woman, massage your hand warm. And press on the breast and massage outward. Okay, massage outward. 
you have to do at least 36 times. But man, you need to learn to make your hand warm and massage your kidney. Your hand warm and massage the kidney on the side here. And massage up and down. And cover your kidney. Night time and cover your kidney and rest and feel nice and warm in your kidney. And massage another one. So woman, you continue on massage the breast 36 times. Very important. Make the connection of the heart center. The connection of the heart center. Okay? Right on the heart here. So you massage. Man, and after that you reverse another 36 times. And you, you, important is your intentions. Your intention. Feel your energy in your palm and the massage. Change the energy in your breast into from the blood, change it into chi. Man, when you massage your kidney and gradually feel the jing in the kidney change into chi. Okay? And feel the kidney have a connection down to the testicle. Now, when lady, when you reverse, feel your nipple connect to the back here. And after that, from the back, make a line down to the kidney. Massage the kidney for a while. Then when you finish the kidney, massage the testicle. Okay? Testicle is an incredible factory producing a lot of sexual energy. Okay? And the biggest waste in a human is the ejaculation demo out. You don't want, you cannot, you don't know how to transform them. So massage the testicle. And feel it. Feel something are changing inside you. It's really something content. At home, you know, you do. At home, sometimes you can watch TV and do that. That is, don't waste your time. We spend so much time watching TV. Women bring both hands forward and massage from the sexual organs and ovaries up to the bottom of the rib cage and back down again, moving inward and upward and then outward and downward in a circular pattern. And hold the, hold the whole testicle and massage the lower abdominal. So feel the, the jing chain into chi. Men massage 36 times, chain the hand. Reverse the counterclockwise. Women keep massaging the lower abdomen, but reverse the circles, moving up and outward to the bottom of the rib cage, and then down and inward back to the sexual center and sexual organs. Gathering the sexual energy in the center. Use your mind and your eye. And very, very important. Lightly close your vagina. Lightly close your gland of the penis. And the ori. And the cervix. And the prostate gland area. Feel it. Something very, very, very clear. Very sure feeling. When you lightly close them, you suddenly you feel that you are holding back the life force. Very this is very important. When you lightly close them, you feel that you stop the leak. You stop the leak. The first leak, the sexual leak. You feel it. And you feel like you have life energy feeling there. Life energy back. You hold back the life energy there. You're holding back there. Okay. Now, move your right hand cover the navel. And feel the navel have the energy ball. Your navel have the energy ball. Recall the experience. And one dot. And move your left hand cover the door of life and feel the energy ball and another dots.
if you can picture three dots of energy, three dots of energy, sexual center, one dot of light, very condensed light, navel, one dot of light, and the door of light, one dot of light. Now, I want you to lightly draw these three dots all together. Draw these three dots all together at one place. Draw them into one place. Draw them into one place. It's between the navel and the sexual center. And turn your mind down. Use your mind now. Inhale lightly like use your eye. And condense your eye and gathering the energy there. Gathering the energy there. When you dim your eye, you feel you gather energy into your center. That spot we call the original force. The original force. The lower Tantian. And the lower Tantian. I want you to fix your mind there. Turn your mind and your eye down to that dot. Fix your mind there. Use the word chi. 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 Place the fingers of the right hand on the navel center and the fingers of the left on the sexual center. Let the energy radiate from the original force and run down to the sexual center. Spiral at the sexual center with your mind and eyes 36 times counterclockwise to expand the energy at the center. Then 36 times clockwise to condense the energy into the sexual center. Send energy from the right hand to the left and imagine the channel between these two points opening wide with the increased flow of chi. As you inhale, breathe as if you were inhaling into the sexual center filling it with fresh energy. Mentally say the word chi as you exhale and focus the mind on the sexual center to increase the energy there. Repeat the inhalation and exhalation 9 to 18 times. Concentrate on the sexual center until you can feel the chi accumulate. Move the left hand to the perineum and touch the perineum with three fingers. Let the energy radiate from the navel and sexual center down to the perineum. Send energy from the right hand to the left and imagine the channel between these points opening wide with the increased flow of chi. Spiral your energy or rotate a chi ball there with the mind and eyes 36 times counterclockwise and 36 times clockwise. Inhale and exhale into the perineum using the word chi to increase the energy there. Move the left hand to the sacrum and coccyx. Place the palm over the sacrum and touch the tip of the coccyx with the tip of the middle finger. Place the right fingertips over the sexual center. Now to lead the chi from the perineum into the sacrum, very slightly pull up on the perineum using the mind more than muscle to close the sexual organs. Then gently tighten the anus, pulling it toward the coccyx. Then gently tighten the back part of the sphincter muscle between the anus and coccyx and feel as if you were sipping energy into the coccyx and sacrum. Send energy from the right hand to the left and imagine the channel between these points opening wide with the increased flow of chi. Let the energy radiate from the navel, sexual center, and perineum into the coccyx and sacrum. Spiral or rotate there with the mind and eyes 36 times each way. Inhale and exhale into the coccyx and sacrum using the word chi to increase the energy there. Use your right hand to touch the sacrum. Your right hand will send energy to your left hand as it moves up the spine point by point. Bring your left hand to touch the door of life point. Let the energy from the sacrum flow up to the door of life. Spiral the energy, inhaling and exhaling into the door of life to increase the energy there. Feel the whole lower back start to relax. 
With your left hand, massage the T11 point opposite the solar plexus. Tap it. Then hold your fingers there and let the energy flow to the T11 point. Spiral the energy there. Feel it expanding. Feel that some layer of tension is releasing. Inhale and exhale into the T11 to increase the energy there. Let the energy radiate up to the point opposite the heart between lumbar 5 and lumbar 6. Breathe into the point and let the energy spiral there. Feel the area between your shoulder blades relaxing and widening. Tap with your left hand at the base of the neck, cervical 7. Rub with your fingers and develop some heat there. Then just hold your hand there and let the energy flow into C7. The C7 point will let your shoulders relax more. Just focus into the area and feel tension unwinding there. Feel your shoulders relax more. Use your left hand to rub at the base of the skull, massaging it. Hold your hand there and let the energy radiate into the base of the skull point. Let your chin drop down slightly, opening the base of the skull. Inhale and exhale into the point, spiraling the energy 36 times in each direction and continuing to use the word chi. Trace with your left hand up over the top of your head to the crown. Massage the crown point. Tap it. Roll your eyes up and look up. Let the energy radiate to the top of the crown. Inhale and exhale from the top of the crown, spiraling the energy there. When this point is open, we radiate happiness. Come down with the left hand and massage the mid-eyebrow area. Massaging the eyebrows, the forehead, and the mid-eyebrow. Tap the mid-eyebrow. Gently touch the mid-eyebrow and the eyelids with your fingertips and let all the energy come forward into your mid-eyebrow. Let it gather in the mid-eyebrow point. Touch the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Press the tongue to the palate and then release the tension. Do this 9 to 18 times. Knock the teeth together 18 to 36 times. Then lightly clench and release them. Let the energy radiate onto the palate. Spiral the energy and let it gather on the palate. Let the tongue be very relaxed, touching just the tip of it to the palate behind the front of the teeth. Feel an energetic or electric flow down through your tongue. Relax the sides of your tongue and the back of your tongue. Move your right hand to the mid-eyebrow point and move your left hand down to touch the throat point with three fingers. Gather some saliva in your mouth. Mix together an elixir from the saliva, the hormones activated by the sexual energy, and the energy from the mid-eyebrow. Swallow down this elixir. Let the energy flow down into your throat point. Spiral and gather the energy there. Feel the pit of your throat relax. Inhale and exhale into the throat center, using the word chi to increase the energy there. With the left hand, massage the breastbone around the heart point. Touch the heart point with three fingers. Let the energy flow down to the heart point. Feel a relaxation through your whole chest. Inhale and exhale into the heart point and gather the energy there. Feel a warmth beneath the breastbone and feel the energy of the heart. Love, joy, respect and happiness. Feel the chest open up and relax. Bring your left hand down and massage a little bit at the solar plexus point, where there's a lot of tension and tightness. 
Then touch the point with three fingers and let the energy flow into it. Spiral the energy 36 times in each direction, inhaling and exhaling into the point to increase the energy there. Relax the solar plexus and begin to feel a nice warm golden glow. Let the energy return to the navel. Spiral the energy or rotate a chi ball there using mind-eye power 36 times each way. Inhale and exhale into the navel point using the word chi to increase the energy there. Repeat three to nine times or more if you need it, feeling the pulsing behind the navel. If you have any trouble bringing the energy down from the crown to the navel, use the hands to gently stroke the energy down. Repeat the stroking movements until you feel you have successfully brought any excess energy from the head, throat, or chest, or any stuck energy down to the navel. You can continue to guide the energy flow through the microcosmic orbit as many times as you like. Whenever you choose, you can end the active or yang stage of your meditation and begin the yin stage, resting in the original qi. Just relax your mind and body. Find the neutral point in the center of your body. It could be at the navel, the heart, or the head, whatever feels most neutral to you. Simply be there. Do nothing but absorb the fruits of having circulated the energy through the microcosmic orbit and balanced your chi flow. Allow the energy to do whatever it wants to do. It may reverse direction. It may flow to other areas of the body. The body may shake and vibrate. You may hear high-pitched sounds. Spend five or ten minutes at this stage giving yourself the chance to reap the fruit of your microcosmic orbit circulation, a sense of inner peace, calmness, and clarity. Let the physical body dissolve into your original chi, resting in the state of emptiness, making no effort whatsoever. When you are ready to conclude the session, bring the energy to the navel and collect the energy, letting it return to the area behind the navel and in front of the kidneys to recharge your original force. Spiral the energy or rotate a Tai Chi symbol around the navel 36 times outward and 24 times inward. For men, clockwise out and counterclockwise in. Women, Counterclockwise out and clockwise in. Rest for a moment and enjoy the comfortable, peaceful feeling you have created in your meditation. Feel the spaciousness inside your body and mind now that you have cleared out physical and mental tensions. Finish with the Qi Self-Massage. Chinese medicine emphasizes harmonizing and strengthening the body so that it will heal itself of disease. Taoist meditation begins to bring one's intention and consciousness back into oneself, and the mind-body connection becomes more apparent. As a result, many overlooked or pushed away problems begin to surface. Energy blockages, structural misalignments, and various pains and tensions, once concealed, become evident. In general, these symptoms do not persist for more than a few days, and students do not find them unduly troublesome. It is important to continue practicing the inner smile, six healing sounds, and microcosmic orbit during this period. It is most important to end by storing the energy that has been generated in the navel. Most ill effects of meditation are caused by excess energy in the head or heart. The navel area can safely handle the increased body heat. 
In addition, it is helpful to increase the amount of water, fruits, and vegetables in your diet. When problems persist, a qualified health practitioner should be consulted.